Wolf. Yeah, nah, this is the only way to fly. So right, Tullio De Champs, here it is, the absolute beast, the RTX 4090, and yes, this thing here is the tough, the tough OC version. Like, there's three versions from Asus out at the moment. There's the uh, tough, which is the regular tough, there's the tough OC, and then there's the big daddy, the top G, yes, the ROG Strix, which I want one of those, I really do, and hopefully I can get one very soon, but... I don't think you'll ever need anything more than a tough, to be perfectly honest. And yeah, there's been tons of benchmarks and that. I think you know how fast these things are now. I'm gonna cover this from a retail angle and do a lot of tests. I'll do a lot of videos on this, so make sure you subscribe. But yeah, I'm gonna put it in my rig and just, yeah, let's have a look at it. Oh, tough gaming, wolf. That's what I'm talking about. There is the beast. Oh. Look at this thing. Thank you for buying the tough. Yes, nice card there. Looks like Star Trek, doesn't it? I love the new Azus logo. That's cool. Tough gaming. There you go. Look at that. Four star. See, this is four star. And the Strix is five star. The big top G there. And you get all this stuff. This is cool. And you get a bracket. Ah, that's what this is. This is a bracket to keep your GPU up. Okay. Yeah, so that pushes it up. So that winds up like this there and it pushes the card up. Certification, it is tough. I do like these cards, they're pretty cool. Like, yeah, cool. Heat dispensation, four and a half. Overclocking, four and a half. And of course you get the adapter there. You need four eight pins to go into this one. This, what are they, 12 pin or something? And you get a tie, a cable tie. I'm gonna go with Zeus until they let me down. I would probably put my money on a Zeus having the best premium card. And I know with a Zeus what I'm getting, a Zeus products always do what they say in the tin. And here's the thing, they're the number one for selling all these things, right? People buy them. Like the Strix sell out straight away here in Australia. Everybody, when they want the top board, they always buy a Zeus. And that's not me being a fanboy, that is just a fact. I mean, I have a friend who does custom PCs and he buys Strix graphics cards and he water cools them, right? Strix graphics cards, water cools them. You know, I mean, one of the best things about the Strix is the cooler, right? He takes it off, but he knows that, you know, they're the most reliable, that's what his customers want. These things are, you know, the top G, they're the top G. Oh, she's a big one. God. That is a big, big boy. Oh, wasn't ready for that. So yeah, this thing here, essentially it comes out and you would sit this in your thing and I don't know where it goes but it would essentially do something along those lines. This thing is premium, and there you go, you get the adapter. They all come with the adapter. I mean, whatever. You won't have to buy a new power supply. If you've got a 1000 watt, good quality, you'll be right. One good thing about these are two HDMI 2.1s, right? Now, we know DisplayPort 2.0, they don't have it, or 2.1. Apparently, with these 40 series graphics card, yeah, pretty much everything was already baked in before, you know, these started being produced because they've been producing these for a while and 2.0 was not ready at the time. So there may be new versions next year with DisplayPoint 2.0, but I don't think it's going to matter for most people. I'm a guy that would want it, but um, I do agree that most people won't. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is not plastic. That definitely sounds like a metal clunk there. Wow, this really is premium. It really is premium. So we'll put this bad boy in. You can see there how thick it is. Oh, this is a big chungus. Boom, boom. Yeah, there's the flow through. Um, the PCB is only right up to here or whatever. It's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah, this is a serious boy there. And you can see how thick it is. Wow. And that's strong. It's not flexing. Even if you had that in your board, I don't think there's going to be any flex in that chassis there. Um, wow. I think we're going to need this bracket to keep it up. And we'll just see there. 
All right, so here's the first bridge we've got across. Now, I currently have here, and look, you'll see there's actually a bit of sag there with this uh, RTX 3070. This is a tough version. I usually have a 3090 Strix in there, which I sold because of course I knew this bad boy was coming. I knew the 4090 was coming and have a look at that, the card size difference. Now, the first thing is, is it gonna fit in your case? And as you can see there, it is gonna be absolutely no problems for me fitting this in the case. And look how big it is compared to that. Like, wow, 3070 versus 4090, tough. So first thing is, it's gonna fit my case, happy days. Second thing is power. Now, because I had a 3090 Strix in here, I actually had three power connectors there. Now, I've actually checked, I've got a 1200 watt power supply. I could swap it over for a 3.0, I have one, but I really couldn't be bothered at the moment. So I will use this adapter. But as you can see here, I've only got three, right? You don't want to piggyback. So some of these come with two. This PCI thing comes with two. Don't use two like that on this. All right, separate ones, separate ones. If your power supply doesn't have four separate PCI, you know, eight pins on it there, don't use it, don't use it. Don't piggyback, don't use two into one, all right? Just to, don't do it. Your power supply probably isn't good enough if, if it doesn't have three PCI Express. But this is a 1200 watter, still gotta go around the back and put this extra cable in. Now, as I said before, look at this motherboard, right? This is CL14, 4000 megahertz RAM, works in this motherboard. You know, on the Gigabyte one, didn't work, so I got rid of it, I got given that. I got the cheapest ASUS, works no problem, works in the tough ASUS as well. The cheapest ASUS does 5.4, actually I can do 5.5, but the CPU gets a bit too hot. The motherboard does 5.5 gigahertz on this, no problem, for gaming, no problem. Um, and I run it at 5.4. Never had an issue, the cheapest motherboard from ASUS. Now there are times you might want a better motherboard, like maybe this, X670 Creator, which has USB 4, has 10 gigabit networking. So if you're a creator, you might want those bells and whistles. And if you just want an ultimate flex, you get a Maximus ASUS motherboard, right? But here's the deal, overclock to the max, not many people get 5.5 gigahertz and I'm doing it on the cheapest ASUS motherboard. That's why I buy it. Never had an issue. I've done this for generations. Just get the cheapest one, or I usually get the Maximus. I either get one or the other, the cheapest one or the Maximus. And yeah, no problems here with the cheapest one. As you can see, I am the cable management king here. Now I've got to find, I can only find a double header. I'm gonna use it. Um, I've got to get in here. Oh man, what a nightmare. We'll see how we go here. We're gonna put this in. Then we're gonna connect up this adapter, put the card in, put the bracket, and then we'll see how we go. This cable through now, oh. Unfortunately, I only had one that has piggyback, so the two. But I mean, it's gonna be messy either way, I guess, unless you have the actual real power supply. So basically, I'm gonna put four of these into this, and then put that into Oh, Chungus over here. All right, so the cool thing about this bracket is it's magnetic. So this is just gonna go underneath the card. You got a little screw there, and this can go up and down. Just a guide of where this needs to be. I don't think, for me, it will have to go up much, that bracket, so. So instead of doing this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this flat, put this in, then put the bracket in. I think that's the best way so I don't put any force, undue force on this slot there. So I'll just put this down, put it in like that, and it should work that way. Okay here, so I've easily, I've just put the card in straight in, and as you can see here with this bracket, the bracket's actually too big, slightly too big for this case, so, but I can still fit it in. So I don't actually have to raise this little nub there don't have to raise that up so i can easily just put this here and give it some support there so easy peasy there and all i've got to do is connect this bird's mess bird's nest mess here and see how we go all right so as we can see here there's the bracket 
and I think it's really good because it's easy to install, right? No screws or anything like that. Just put it in there, it's got a magnet, it's gonna keep it up, no, no problems. You can put it at the end if you want. If you're more concerned, you can put it wherever you want. I'm just gonna take it out for a second, see if I get any sag. Yes, you can see it just dropped that little bit there. But in all honesty, I think you could probably use it without the bracket. Although, hey, disclaimer, I don't know, it's up to you, but I don't think that's a problem putting that little bracket there. Now, now this is ugly mess. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do there because I can't hide these cables behind there because this adapter isn't long enough. So there's nothing I can do except get a new power supply or a new adapter. So there we go, easy peasy, all sealed in there, all screwed up, should I say, and this bracket there. So once I lift it, no problems, and I've just got to connect this stupid thing, I guess. So that bird's nest there. I gotta say, get the right power supply if you can. If not, it's not gonna matter. If you've got an old power supply, it'll do for now. Which way does this go? Okay, so it goes the opposite way. And, okay, done. So let's see how beastly this thing is. All right, so there we have it. The tough, the fastest gaming desktop you can get in the world with an RTX 4090, 12900K overclocked and CL14 RAM. Yeah, that's the way we do it here. You can see a bit of RGB on this tough graphics card. Go under there, you can see a bit better. But yeah, let's see how it games. All right, so. <laughs> Okay, so this is rasterized. Oh, hello. They love the thermals. They love it. They're big fans of it. Oi, see you later, son. They're big fan. Oh. Oh. See, they're no good close up, these um, LMGs. But as you can see here, even with a 4090, the mighty 4090, I cannot get the 260 frames per second. And I'm willing to say that I can see here, wow, geez, it's going to dip below 175. I cannot believe with a 4090, I'm probably going to have to 